the great warrior Ulysses had overcome many hardships on his journey back from the Trojan Wars. His determination to return home to his family and his kingdom in Ithaca had brought him this far. But nothing he had faced before could have prepared him for the challenges that lay ahead. According to the myth, the beautiful nymphs known as sirens were every sailor's nightmare. All who heard their enchanting songs were never seen again. Do as Ulysses ordered! Put the beeswax in your ears, quickly! We must not hear the siren's song! Come, Ulysses, come, come Ulysses, come, come and rest. Leave behind this weary quest. There can be many failures along the path to success. The ability to continue despite defeat is the mark of a true hero. And this was to be the test for Ulysses and his men. Come, Ulysses, come, come and Ulysses. rest. Leave behind this weary quest. No! No, I can't! Having escaped the island of the evil sorceress, Circe, Ulysses had found himself on a vast, uncharted sea. Guided by the experienced eye of Elpenor, his navigator, Ulysses hoped once again to find familiar waters and return safely to Ithaca. There! The North Star is still on the horizon! Keep that star burning in your hearts, men! That is our beacon home! Come home to me, Ulysses. Come home. The magic flower that Hermes gave you. You kept it? Yes. But as before, on this ill-fated journey, things would not go smoothly for Ulysses. Man the oars! Trim the sails before the storm overtakes us! So, Elpenor, you're the expert? Where in the world are we? I have no idea. We got completely turned around in the storm. We could be anywhere. <laughs> Well, well, the island of anywhere. Sounds promising. Sounds dangerous. Keep your eyes open and your weapons close. Sheep! Huh? It's music to my ears! And my stomach! seen sheep this big before. Oh, I'd like to know the shepherd's secret. You think anyone is home? Where there's sheep, there's dried mutton, milk, and cheese. Let's go in and find out. No, we have no idea how many live here, or if they're friend or foe. But we have our weapons and the element of surprise. Ha! Besides, we shepherds are a peaceful lot. Stay here with me, Elpenor. We have to stand watch in case others return to their cave. You don't have to worry about that, Ulysses. There are no others. A giant! The men! I have to say, I've never seen anything like this. Enterprising sheep herders. I wonder what they use this for. Oh, we shouldn't take too much. Just enough to fill our stomachs. And our pockets. Mm. And I'm sure whoever lives here won't miss a half a dozen sheep. I don't know. Stealing from a shepherd's flock. If it was mine, I'd have you skinned alive. Men! We have to leave. Now! Why? Is there trouble? Yes, big trouble. What was that? An earthquake? We should be so lucky, Antiphus. Much 
All the time I eat, something new for dinner I find! Uh, Look at the size of him. He'll eat us all in one meal and pick his teeth with our swords. Perhaps. But when they created him, the gods may have been more generous with muscle and bone than they were with brains. You do us an injustice! Huh? We are not thieves! What are you, then? We are traders! Come from a far-off land! Your cheese and milk is the finest! To know that, my food you ate! So steal it, you did! Sampled it! Our ship is stocked with wine from the very grapes of the god Dionysus. Just let us out and we will show it to you. Who are you that I should trust? Nobody. I am nobody. Well, nobody. Myself, I will go and see what wine is on your ship. Ulysses, now we're trapped in here. We just bought ourselves some time to find a way to escape. More time to imagine our fate. Your fate is what you make it, Polites. You can give up and die or find a way out. And if we look hard enough, we'll find one. His walking staff. Yes, we can use it to pry the rock free. It's moving! Give it everything you've got, man! Tricked I've been! He's coming back! Hurry! Crush what he can't see. <sighs> Little cowards, escape me, you can't. I have to admit, Ulysses, you have quite an imagination. Somewhere they must be. Huh? Nobody is trying to steal my sheep! Huh? Wait! Back you come! <laughs> Calling yourself nobody? That was a good one! <laughs> Look out! <laughs> to the shipmen, quickly! What about you? Just go! I'll keep him busy! <laughs> You overgrown ox! Squeeze you like a grape! I will! Hey, Cyclops! Let's get out of here! My faith in you, Athena, save him! You will pay for this! No, Ulysses. We've lost our navigator. We cannot lose our captain, too.
With nothing more than his wits and his unwavering determination, Ulysses was able to free his men from the terrible Cyclops. Now tired and weary, with an unforgiving sea before them, the men were once again lost in despair. How will we find our way back now, without our friend Elpenor? We can't give up hope now. Elpenor would want us to carry on, to make it back to our homes. And we will, for him, and for our loved ones. Brave Elpenor, our guiding light. Gone when I need you most. I'm still here to guide you, my friend. Elpenor? Yes. Athena plucked me from the sea and turned me into a gull. She sends her regards. Who is he talking to? Huh? He seems to think the seagull is Elpenor. We should keep an eye on him. Can you guide us home, Elpenor? Sail north past the Isle of the Sirens, the beautiful singing nymphs. You must listen to their bewitching songs to know your fate. But be warned. If you do listen, you will not be able to resist them. And like all sailors before you, you will follow the siren's call and be lost. You see, Ulysses, for you, there is no easy way home. No shortcut to your dreams. Nothing but your own will to succeed will bring you through. Follow me, my friend. I will guide you as far as I can. We sail northward to the Isle of the Sirens. What? The Sirens? The singing nymphs? We will be lost forever! Trust me, this is the way home. We have followed him into this madness, and now he is mad himself. There! Just ahead, Ulysses! The Isle of the Sirens! It's time to prepare the men, Paramedes. Put the beeswax in your ears, and don't remove it no matter how much you long to hear the Sirens' song. But... What of you, Ulysses? The sirens will sing of our destiny. Only I must hear it if we are to make it back home. Lash me to the mast, and no matter what happens, do not release me! <gasps> do as Ulysses ordered! Put the beeswax in your ears, quickly! We must not hear the siren's song! Come, Ulysses, come, come and Ulysses. rest. Leave behind this wind as a flower, flower of your heart awaits. Come Enter through the, the silence. <laughs> no! shall be the first. Ah! 
Look! There! Just ahead! Straits of Scylla and Charybdis. Once fair maidens, Scylla and Charybdis were cursed by the gods and turned into monsters to guard the watery passageway. This is suicide. We should turn back before it's too late. No! We must go through the passageway. There is no shortcut home. Antiphus is right. We're all doomed if we go in there. We've faced death a hundred times and we have always triumphed. Stay with me now this one last time. We're almost to our goal. No! This is just a mad obsession. The journey is all there is for you, Ulysses. All there ever was. You'll sail these seas forever. Well, I, for one, have had my fill of adventure. Elpenor, can you guide us through? I can guide you no further, Ulysses. But I have flown over many lands and seen many things. And this you must know. Tyrants are tearing your kingdom apart. Go home, Ulysses. Go home. Fly true, my friend. Remember the siren's call. When all seems lost and hope is gone, and few are left to carry on, only those who have the will see kingdoms rise and dreams fulfilled. You can go if you must. Take the ship. I will make it back alone. Stay, Ulysses. You have guided us this far. You have saved us from monsters and ourselves. We cannot desert you now. We're with you, Ulysses. They say Celia has 20 tentacles, each as long as the ship. And Charybdis, she's even worse. She swallows up ships in a single gulp and spits out the remains in a great geyser of water. And I say the tale of the twin monsters is just that, a sailor's story. I've never met a man who has seen them. Maybe that's because the only ones who have remained here. Ulysses! Where is he? Ulysses! Ulysses! He is gone. We are lost. Gone. But not forgotten. He sacrificed his own life to save us. We must not give up now. We must go the rest of the way. Ulysses would expect no less. You are right. Take the oars and let us row for Ulysses! For Ulysses! Even though Ulysses was no longer with them, his men carried on his spirit, and with newfound determination, made it safely back to their homelands.
We will all meet challenges in our lives, and if we remain determined and persistent, eventually we will succeed. Ulysses never gave up on his goal, and he did return to his son and his ah. beloved queen, Penelope. Where am I? Why, Ithaca, of course. I am home. At last. <gasps> Ulysses was soon to find out that all was not well in his kingdom, and once more his faith would be tested before he could finally rest. But that's another mythic tale. <laughs>